Okay. Welcome, guys, back to my channel. I am Jenny um, from A, A to Z Crafty Crafters. Welcome to the channel. Um, also, I'd like to uh, give a big shout out to my um, new subscribers and my old subscribers. Thank you for joining me on my journey. Um, and if you've just tuned in to watch the video, um, don't forget to press the uh, subscribe button and the bell so that you'll get updates because this is a new series that I'm doing from um, fabric flowers from um, 101 um, and today we'll be starting off with the roses, the doing the roses. There was a lady um, had said that she'd like to make her daughter her wedding bouquet so we're just going to start out um, we get enough together and we'll um, make a little bouquet so that you know you guys will know that you can make a bouquet or we can do a, a, also a bunch of flowers um, it's a choice that you know of you guys whatever you want to do um, if you'd like to do a bunch of flowers just let me know and we can carry on and um, make a little bouquet bunch of flowers uh, these are ones that I have done. These are loose ones to make into a bunch. We will be doing this also. Um, you don't have to add wire to them. You can just use them and stick them to your um, bouquet, your wedding bouquet. Um, this is another sort of rose that we will be doing. This is petals are all done separately. But today we will be doing it in one strand of ribbon. Um, what else have I got here? This is a different one. No, that one's the same. There's another one there um, that I've add glitter around and that's just normal stickles, glitter um, and beads. I just add beads um, to the centre. As you can see, there's another bead to that centre there. Um, and then there's this type of rose we can do also. That's just by... Um, a narrow ribbon. I think it's about an inch wide. I think that one is. Looks like it. I haven't got it double. Nope. So and um, that's got felt on the back. But we can do that for the process. Um, they can be glued all round on a wedding bouquet, and they really turn out absolutely beautiful as a wedding bouquet. Um, silks. Uh, this was a piece of, uh, there was a throng I picked up at the second hand store or a Goodwill store and I'd um, added a little Demonte thing on top of a piece of wire as you can see. I've got the wire that goes straight up in the centre so that's another um, way we will be doing also. And um, we will be adding lace um, to our flowers and tulle. That one's just tulle. This one's lace that's added to. This one hasn't got anything in the centre. This one's got a little Demonte uh, glued to the uh, wire, the floral wire. So there's different ones. This one here is another one I did and I actually painted my fabric. Um, we can also do that one if anybody's interested in doing. That was just normal um, fabric and I had painted and waxed that sort of thing and it turned out absolutely beautiful. feels like a bit like leather. So there's that one. And I think that was all. There is a, a lily we done but I haven't got the lily on hand to show you um, what it's like. Um, I don't know what happened to it. It's not in my container. But when I do come across it I will show you guys the um, lily I did and we can also do lilies so there's all different types of flowers and this one here I've done and it's got a little square type of bead in them we can make our own centers out of beads and add to them we can put brooches and that in it so that's another thing we'll be doing um, the roses can be ranged in all sizes from um, the two inch ribbon right down to the very tiny little whoops little narrow roses which is from that ribbon there 
So I've got a bunch of those there. So we will get started. First off, we'll start off with the bigger ribbon. I'll just cut this off. Um, what you'll need is a range of ribbons, um, whatever colour you'd like. Cotton, needles for sewing them together. Um, what else do we need? Scissors and a lighter. That's all we need to do this. So I've got a couple of um, needles already threaded there. So I'm just going to cut these off and singe them. So you see like with the singeing. Um, also have a bowl of water beside you um, because these can go up in flames quite easily um, if you're not careful. So that's just singeing that one to stop it from fraying. This one's all frayed so I just trim it off and then I will singe it again like that and there we go. I'll put the safety lock on that so it's locked off. So I'm going to do a ribbon first off from the wide, a rose from the wide ribbon. So all I do is just fold it over like that. Have a little bit of a tail that gives you something to hang on to. So I'll just fold this piece once it's folded like that fold it towards you, I'm just going to fold it again over to meet that side where it just meets like that. So then I'm going to roll it. So I've got my bead, my centre of my bud rolled. So I'm going to stitch that up and I'll find my thread. Just a little stitch so it will stop from um, unravelling on me. And just leave it hang. Now I'm going to turn my ribbon away from me and then I'm going to roll. Okay, so there we've got our bud. So I'm going to turn it again and roll it. Once you get the knack of doing um, the flowers, they are very easy to do. And you just don't stress about it because um, there's hardly any flower that's got perfect petals to. So when I get so far, I will stitch it a couple of times so it doesn't unravel on me. Just to, to hold it in place and then I'll roll it again keep turning it until it's a sort of type of the um, the largest what you want it with And you can loosen them off a bit to make the petals a little bit looser. So then I'll leave that, finish that rose off with that. I don't want to tighten it up, I want to loosen it off a bit. So I'll just fold that back down. I've got it too loose now. Tighten it up a little bit. I'll just bring that one back down and then cut it off. I'm careful not to cut my cotton. Then I'll 
I'll just thread it through to um, catch my petals. And there's our rows. So I'll just stitch this a couple of times more. I do sometimes use, I have a candle beside me with a nail and a pair of plies, but, um, but today we'll just do the stitching, which is a lot easier. And once you get the use of um, rolling your beads, then you, your beads, sorry, I've got paper beads on the brain, um, your flowers, then you can, um, if you're comfortable enough, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to end that off. Then I'm just going to trim this off, cut it off, fold it tight, and then back to my lighter and singe. My lighter's running out a bit, and that'll hold it then to stop it from coming out. So there's our second little rows and then if you go to add wire through the center of it and we won't go into full detail but make sure you have a little hole uh, like a little gap where your wire can fit through like that okay so we can add a bead we can do that later on but just at the moment we're going to make some roses so I've done that one, it's using the bigger one, then we'll go to a smaller size rose. The biggest rose I've done, I'm not sure how wide the, the um, ribbon was, but it was, oh, it was a piece of material and I've stitched it. So that's my biggest rose I've done. I've cut a piece of material and I've stitched it. I think it was off a piece of a wedding dress, I think. And then I glued little pearls onto it. So and we'll go to a smaller one. You can also, with your roses, you can add other different things to it, which we will do along the line too, but we won't be doing it today. You can use that, um, uh, what do you call it, um, eyelash sort of um, yarn. You can add that to it. Um, you can add another ribbon um, on top. And I might do that today. I just want to make sure I've got that off. So this is a one inch wide ribbon. So we're just going to do the same thing. Fold it over and then roll it over. And start to roll it. And once I've got it rolled, I will then, I think I've got a knot on my thread, one I haven't knotted. So I'm just on the bottom of it doing a couple of little tack sort of things to just enough to hold, stop it from coming apart. And once you get good enough at doing this and you're confident in yourself, you won't have to um, do the stitching. I 
I mostly just roll them and then stitch them or use a nail and um, push the nail into it. So I'm just turning it now to get my little bud going. So I'll just finish off there. We won't do a real big rose with that one. Move my cotton out of the road so I don't cut it off. I'm just doing a couple of little stitches to hold my rose in. So there's our little tiny rose. So I'll just end that off so that I can cut it. I tie a knot like thread so I know then it's it's already tied but mine not be so I'm just going to cut that off now and then I'll use my deadly little weapon again lock on it. So there's a small one. Do another one. I'm just burning the end of my, singeing the end of my ribbon so it doesn't all come unraveled and fray on me while I'm doing it. So I'm just going to stitch that up, just a couple little stitches. So now I'm just going to start turn it away from me and start rolling. Just always remember you rolled it away from you. Just like that and then you roll it. Whoops, come undone. Moved a little bit on me. So now I'll just finish that one off. Get another little bud made there. Little rose I should say. Then I will stitch it off. I'll just finish it. With a double knot. Tie the knot on my thread again so I don't Forget that it's there, and I will trim it off 
and then I will singe it And you got another nice little um, rose there. So we've got those ones there done. So we'll go to a, a smaller one now and we'll do a pink and see how I go. I do have a bit of trouble holding the, um, the pink the little narrow ribbons but we will give it a go today and see how we shall go i've already singed that one and it's the same method I did make a um, little tool for me to roll my ribbons with, but I forgot to have it on hand, but that's okay. And I'll show you that next time. And they're easy to make. So you just roll it the same way. stitch that one a bit to stop it from coming undone on me and these little rows are such a good filler okay we'll leave that one with that and we'll finish it off They are very, very tiny to handle, but it all takes practice. And then I will finish it off. Cut my cotton. Tie my knot. Get rid of my little pieces off here. I should have had a pair of tweezers but I haven't got one so I'm going to stick a pin through that so I do not hit my fingers and that's not going to work not to hit my fingers with the um, lighter I've got a bit of thread up there, so I'll get rid of that thread. So there we go, is the tiny little rose. So we shall make another one. Oops. Tie 
a knot. Okay, now I'll start turning it away from me and roll. Turn it away from me and then roll. Turn it away from me and then roll. And I'll finish that off. Get my thread. I hope I've got it held right. Oops, I've got a knot there, that's okay, I'll just tie it off there. I'll cut my cotton. Cut my ribbon. Once again, I'll put a needle through it so I don't catch my fingers with the lighter. And then there's our little rose. Okay, we've got two little roses. Then we've got these two roses. Then we've got the bigger roses. And what put those little ones? They're our excise roses and our little baby roses there we go I hope you guys enjoyed that um, let us know what you think um, and if you liked the video um, press the like button and leave a comment but don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel and press the bell so that you'll get more notifications on our flower making as we go okay guys please stay safe and god bless until next time bye